days. So I'm actually going to make up now because I have on all my days. I have been on one. I have been like nonstop watching videos and like reading stuff about all this um natural healing like I am so intrigued by it and I've already had like 10 people over 10 people message me about the video I did this morning and a few of you already ordered from that website so you guys let me know let me know give me your updates like in a week or two whatever let me know I need to know okay well we're gonna do some makeup makeup hair out of my face so so my lovely friend sent this palette to me let me wipe it off because it's dirty and it is the unique mood struck addiction number 10 palette i believe it's their newest one um but yeah i was watching these they look so pretty i really like the shimmer colors they're gorgeous. I don't know what colors I'm going to use yet, but we will find them. I'm so lady. Okay, I am like so, I was so cold earlier. I'm like, okay, I got to change. I got to change. And then like now I'm starting to get hot. I wonder if this will match me yet because I am like, it still looks like looks so yellow. Well, I think I'm just going to do, I haven't done this foundation in a while. I'm just going to do the um, Serum Plus foundation from Unique because I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And then what primer shall I do? I've really been liking this. It's a face serum. It's actually not even a primer, but on the back it says you can use it as a primer. And it's got collagen in it. It's all natural ingredients. It's from New Zealand. I really, really like it. So I'll just do this. I think um, this weekend, Saturday, I did the powder foundation. I love it this powder foundation like from unique it is such a good powder and i don't really like um powder like all over you know because it tends to be very dry this one is not it's it's very different i like it a lot okay. so so i was watching a couple of videos the other day and this girl she took concealer and then she she took concealer but she mixed it with setting spray and supposedly it's supposed to work really good so we're going to try that so this is um concealer from unique this is like one of my favorites she just put it like on the back of her hand and then she did a tiny spray. I hope I didn't do too much. Um, and then I'm going to wipe off the excess around it because I don't know if I did too much. And then she just like mixed it with her brush like that. I'm very curious because I've never never done it like this. I really like this concealer and I finally found another one that I like too. I really like um this one. This, I think my hold on. These lights are freaky. Right, my goodness. Oh, it's because I'm wearing black. For some reason, when you wear black, it like really messes with the light. I don't know why. That's what it is. Okay. 
So I'm just going to go like this. And then I am going to, because this is kind of like a lot more than I usually use. I'm going to take um, a beauty blender and go over it when I'm done. Just to like, it'll pick up some of the excess. And if you are older and have, um, like, fine lines and wrinkles, I think you would like the Beauty Blender more. It just, I don't know what it, it's just, it makes it so smooth and, like, it almost prevents it from creasing or getting in your, like, you know, wrinkles or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to take this Real Techniques Beauty Bud, and I'm just going to, like, spray it. Some setting spray. Mush it around. And I'm just going to go over this. And the people that I've seen done this, like, say you don't have to set it with a powder if you don't want to. But, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I really like using Unique's um, pressed powder, though. It is my, like, one of my favorite foundations, for sure. It was very silky. So some of the stuff I ordered should be here today. I ordered carob powder. If you guys have ever had carob chocolate before, let me know because I grew up eating that. Um, that's what my grandma used and I, I found 100% organic pure carob powder and I am excited for it to get here. And I ordered some hemp hearts and moringa powder to like add to smoothies and stuff. So that should be here today. And then I ordered the Jamaican purple sea moss, um, sour sap leaves, blue vervain tea, um, damiana, and sarsaparilla root. I'm so excited. Look at that. Look at that bump. Like I'm squeezing it and squeezing it. And all it's doing is like irritating it. Nothing is coming out of it. I'm like, why? Why? You guys, I am telling you. So yesterday, right? I was eating something that had a dairy product in it. And I started like getting cramps. And if you didn't know this, dairy causes um, cysts and polyps and fibroids on like girls' uteruses and ovaries or whatever. Um, and right after I've been eating it, I started cramping. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot, you know. I'm like, oh, okay. So a little bit later, my package from Amazon arrived and the moringa seeds were in it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to do it right now while I have cramps and see if it does anything. Should you not, like 20 minutes, maybe not even 20 minutes after eating one of them, my cramps went away. They have not came back. Like I felt so good and like, like chilled. My mood was like. I just felt really good. I told Orlando, I'm like, I can feel this. Like, I definitely can feel something. And it, it feels really good. It's almost like euphoric or something. I don't know. And then today, I took two. I feel really, really good. I gave I gave Jakara one because she isn't feeling well. She feels great. Like, I am, like, so excited to see, like, I'm so excited. Make sure I didn't use the powder on this. 
I gotta clean these. I keep forgetting. Okay. Okay. So this is the Serum Plus Foundation in Chiffon. I love this foundation. It's one of my faves. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of faves. My favorite drugstore foundation is the Maybelline Dream Radiant. It has like collagen and hyaluronic acid in it. I really, really like that one. I'll show it to you in a sec. Let me just blend this out so it doesn't start drying all weird. And I did take the dropper out of this because it messed up, and so I ripped it out. They did redo the packaging, I heard. So. And if you want any of the products that I use, you can message me. And I can, like, help you get the links for you or whatever you need. A lot of them. A lot of the stuff that I use, you can find at, like, Ulta or Sephora or Amazon. I'm... I use all different stuff. I use, I try to use a lot of more affordable products lately that you can find at like Target and Ulta, even Walmart, you can find it on Amazon and people really seem to be liking that. So, and then there's also like dupes for really expensive foundations. There's I posted a reel um, not too long ago that listed all the dupes and what they were dupes for. So, and I have watched videos of like girls comparing them, like doing half of their face with one and then half with like the more affordable brand. And you, you really can't tell the difference at all. It's crazy. Um, let me get this off the back of my hand. This is brush cleaner and it's like an instant dry formula and it works so good. Okay, look at these brushes. You see how nasty that is? This one is almost gone. Another one. Okay. So I just sprayed them. I got a makeup towel down here because I'm messy. You just spray them and then you just like rub them on a towel and they are instantly dried and it kills like bacteria and all that stuff. So that's cool. That's cool because we don't want bacteria in our brushes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. Like, look, that's not, I didn't do the best job, but like they're way better than they were. And they're completely dry. Love that. Okay. So I'm going to take this. Actually, you know what? I have not used this in a long last time. I'm going to take this contour palette from KAB, and this has, um, whenever I, whenever I'm not retaining water, all my rings get so loose on me, and they just, like, spin around my fingers. I need to get them resized. I got this from, I think, Walmart a while ago, but it has all these different shades in it. So, we're going to use this to contour with and I'm going to take the shade Caramel take the shade Caramel and put it in my contour areas so here I need to dye my hair, but what I usually do in the winter so I don't damage my hair so much is I let it grow out a couple months before I dye it again because that's kind of the style now anyways is like darker roots, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, and my hair has been growing fast. It's been growing like over an inch a month 
which I love. So next year, this time, it'll be like 12 inches longer if I don't keep cutting it. I it, it did get really long for a minute, and then I had to start cutting it because it broke off. Like, it broke off bad. So, I'm doing this alkaline vegan diet. I'm, like, super excited, you guys. Like, I'm really excited about it. So, you'll probably be hearing me talk about it a lot. But, I feel like if you can heal your body naturally without having to take medicine made in a lab that's going to give you side effects, do it. You know what I mean? Like, it can't hurt you. It cannot hurt you. It's only going to heal you, so... Yeah, if you guys didn't watch the video I did earlier, um, it's very, very informative. I highly suggest watching it. Um, yeah, it's a really good video. It's I talked a lot, well, pretty much the whole video is talking about like these different things from nature, like moringa seeds and Jamaican purple sea moss and all this other stuff. It can heal you. If you have diabetes, high cholesterol, um, thyroid disorder, yeah, check it out. There's links. Did I even do this link? Okay, I did. That I Set by Nature link, check that out. Check it out. Everything on there is like, yeah. If you know, you know. Like, yes. A lot of people do know. A lot of people know what I'm talking about now. There is definitely, like, people are up on their game. The wool has been pulled away from their eyes. Okay, we're going to use the shade Seductive Blush. Let's go in here. In here. Well, you know, that's how my grandma and grandpa were too. Like, <clears throat> they did not go see doctors. They did not take medicine. They did not go to the doctors. Like, they didn't play that shit. Like, they prayed and God healed them. Like, that's just what it was. They did not go to the doctors. Even when, even like in their will or something like that, or their something, they put like, they do not want to be resuscitated if they are dying. And, <clears throat> like, I totally see why they do not go to doctors now. Like, so many people are brainwashed from, this is what we've known. Like, we grew up being told this stuff. We thought, we, we believed what we were being taught in school. Like, why would we question it, you know? Like, these are teachers that we look up to. We shouldn't question that. And it's just, like, once you start seeing stuff for what it is and learning because you're, you research it on your own. And here's the thing. A lot of people are lazy and don't want to research it on their own. And so they'll be stuck taking medicine for the rest of their life. When all they had to do was like move their fingers and type a couple words. And it's just sad. Like, it's sad to me. Like these moringa seeds, they pull metals out of your body and your brain. Like aluminum and mercury. Like you, aluminum is in deodorant. It's in lotion. It's in shampoos. It's in like everything. They put it in everything these days. You know, it's really sad. And... I mean, it's in, it's in injections that we got when we were little, you know, like, because that's what we were told we should do, that it was good for us. No, Google what is in that stuff. Google what is in it. And the, the amounts of children that have autism, H, ADHD, ADD, um, emotional, mental disorders, um, thyroid problems like obesity is rampant in the United States like it's in it's insane you know if we're not sick they don't make money you know a lot of people know that though like I 
I have a really good crowd on my pages, like who are very smart and they're up on game and they know all this. They know <clears throat> what I'm talking about. You can't fool people forever, you know? It's everywhere. People are talking about it all over. They don't want to be taking medications made in a lab that are not good for you. I know I'm not. I know I love my man, I love my kids, and I'm going to keep my family healthy as long as I possibly can. Because they are my life. You know? And I feel like anybody, you know, if you love your family, you're going to do what you have to do. <clears throat> and everybody has different beliefs and opinions. Like, you know, like, and I, I respect everybody's opinions. You do what is right for your family and what you feel is right in your heart. Like, it doesn't matter what anybody says. It doesn't matter what I say, what anyone says. You do what feels right in your heart. Okay, so. Let me share it up because I get off on rants. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, Sam. So. I have been having these samples forever and I can't remember if it's foundation or concealer. So, but I want to try them, but then I'm like, well, I don't know what it is. You know? For use, it's pretty, pretty palette. I think I'm going to try that greenish shade because that looks really pretty. Yeah, that looks pretty. So I'm going to take this third shade right there. It looks like the shade um, Astute, if you're familiar with uh, Unique products. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to put this on her. Yes, when I'm passionate about something, you will definitely know. Like, you will definitely know. And another thing, like, you guys will be tracking my progress with me, too. So you'll be able to see it firsthand, you know. I want to go, I bought a papaya the other day, and I think it's ripe now. I'm going to go cut it open. Yummy. Did you guys know that fruit, like grapes we buy at the store, that if, if they don't have seeds in it, they're actually genetically modified. They're not, like, real. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. I've been buying grapes, seedless grapes forever. I did not know that. So any fruit you get, you want it, this light, it's, it's this shirt, it is the shirt, it's a black shirt. Um, yeah, any, any fruit you get, you want it to have seeds in it, otherwise you're eating a genetically modified um, food. Okay, and I'm going to take this, like, that really pretty green shade in the middle. It's a shimmer, so I'm going to spray it. And then I don't know who knows if you're going to be. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, I like that. This would be a, such a pretty, like, ooh, this will match my shirt I just got from Sheen. Ooh. So pretty. Okay. Oh, it's a pretty, I'm going to, I got to show you this shirt. I got my pajama pants on, don't judge me. Okay, look, it'll match this shirt. It's so pretty. See, it matches, it matches really good. Yeah, I put, um, I had to put my pajama pants on. It was just cold. 
Like, I don't want, I don't want, I don't feel like wearing jeans. I don't want to. Okay. Yeah, I like it. It's really, it's almost like a, like a bluish green color. It's pretty. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, it's light. And here's just a tip. For some reason, whenever you wear black, it like looks really weird. And I didn't even think about that. I usually don't go for dark eyeshadow because I don't, I don't know. I think I look better with light colored eyeshadow, but this is like really pretty. It looks so pretty with that shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna take the same blending brush, but I'm gonna take this lighter color down here. And go right here. Very gently. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. Oh, goodness gracious, this girl is up here watching TV. I do not like watching TV unless it's like a documentary or something I'm going to learn from. I just don't like watching TV. I can't stand it. I hate the news. I don't watch it. Like it's, I got my own opinions on the news. I feel like it's fake. I don't even know. And it's so negative. Like why do you want to hear all that crap, you know? <laughs> this says, I'm not single. I have a cat. <laughs> I love my kitty. She's my little baby. Uh, mascara. I'm going to do um, Twisted Mascara. And then I'm going to use this brow pencil from Sheen. Because it just matches my real brow hair really good. And it's a micro tip pencil, which y'all know I, I love. Sounds like she's out there watching like the Grinch or something like that somewhere. So funny. Oh, I can hear the mailman too. I wonder if they got any surprises for me today. Our mail lady likes to throw packages and one time she broke some of my makeup and I was like oh no now you're like pushing the wrong button lady because I am not about to have you breaking my makeup and we have cameras okay we got cameras and I have her on camera. So she better not do it again. I feel like she does it on purpose because we always have a lot of a lot of packages come in and she doesn't like getting out of the truck. Cause one time she left us a note in the mailbox that said 
if your package is able to fit in the mailbox, that's where it's going. I'm like, what? Like, it's your job. What do you mean? Delano snapped. Delano said napped. He called up to the post office and he let them have it. Like, don't be talking to me like that. My man's not going to let anybody talk to me any type of way. But you know, that's how it should be. Your man is supposed to protect you. Okay, I'm just going to brush this out. I think I need to trim my brow hair, you guys. I know it's going to be so, so hard to get, um... <laughs> to get hubby to stop eating meat, but it's going to happen. I always thought chicken was good for us, and it's not. It's horrible for us. It has the highest level of carcinogens in it than any meat. Well, besides like bacon and sausage and um, sandwich meat. Even organic meat isn't good for you. It's messed up. I do know that. My whole life has been... My whole life has been a lie, y'all. You know? But I'm glad I found out when I did. Because I still have a lot of life left. And... I can correct it. If you get mascara on your skin like I just did, like I do every single time I put mascara on, no matter what, just let it dry. And um, um, we're going to take a spoolie and scrape it off gently, ever so gently, because it's on your eye area, and it's very uh. Your skin is very sensitive and thin right there, and so you got to be so fragile with it. So this this mascara is from Unique, and it's the Twisted Mascara. It's got two wands in it. This is the baby wand. Isn't that just like so stinking cute? It's a little, it's so cute. And then. I'll show you the bigger one. I like to use the little one, um, like to get these tiny little hairs, so I get less mascara on my skin. Even though I still do because ugh, I'm just a hot mess, hot mess express. And yeah, you know, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know that I am a hot mess with my makeup. It's very therapeutic for me, very, and if I'm sad or in a mood, if I do my makeup, if I just, I feel better. I think it's because I'm using my hands, like I'm keeping busy with my hands. When I was younger, I used to take old magazines and I would make collages, like I would cut words out. Um, and get that, uh, what's that stuff called, um, poster board, I think it's called, and I would get them really big ones, and I would get some stick glue, and I would glue all these words on there, and pictures and stuff, 
and that I could I could sit and do that for hours hours or color in a coloring book that's very therapeutic too um and I think it's just keeping your hands busy that's really what I think it is because when I get frustrated or agitated like my muscles and my body clench and they just like tense up and like clench and so I think that's if you're like that it's probably really good for you to do stuff like that or like painting or gardening is a really therapeutic one you know I had bought <laughs> everything for a garden I want to do a raised bed garden I bought everything bags and bags of dirt every seed like everything I had like probably 50 different planting pots like seed starter kits everything and the old place that we lived in had a really big yard and then half of the backyard was fenced in so I wanted to do it in that part well there was humongous spiders there and so I got scared and I chickened out and didn't do it because I, I don't I don't like spiders we even had people Delano had people coming out to spray every single month you know and the spiders just they want to go away and then I planted tulips and daffodils and dahlia flowers all these flowers right I planted in the yard and as soon as they started to sprout up, the damn bunnies and squirrels ate them. Like, I did all that work for nothing. They just ate them. And then one time I was outside, and there was a little tiny baby bunny. It was just a little baby, like, so little. And I caught it. I caught it. And I brought it in the house. And it was so freaking cute. I let it go because I'm sure it wanted its mother. But then when I let it go, I was scared. So I'm like, oh my God, what if the mom doesn't come back and get it? You know, like, I should have just kept it. It was so cute. So cute. But the family um, of rabbits was living, like, by my side porch. So I'm like, okay, I knew the mom would be back. And it had brothers and sisters. We used to have so many bunnies in our yard. I love them. They're so cute. I love them. I love squirrels too. I love animals. I love them. I like wild animals. Not so much. I want to say I don't like dogs, but <clears throat> I don't like dogs that jump on you or bark all the time or I've been bit by a dog before and my little brother has actually been bit by three dogs. So I don't, I don't really care for them that much. I'm more of a cat person because cats are chill, they're less work, they're bougie, they always like, cats are definitely bougie. I love them. They're so cute. They have big ears. I love cats. Cats are adorable. Trying not to be like super messy with this, but it's gonna happen, okay? It's just gonna happen. It's just what it is. Today, oh my gosh, I keep forgetting to do something. I was supposed to do it at 8 this morning. Shoot. Shoot. I'm going to have to try to do it when I get off, and hopefully it will answer. Crap. I thought I put a reminder on my phone. Calendar. I don't know. I don't know anymore, you guys. Okay. So, spoolie. Nothing on it. Like, look at, see, it just came off. Do that name. Oh, it's right down over here.
but do it gently because the skin is very thin. Then, all the little particles of mascara come off. You can just take a brush and wipe them away. Like flower. You see, is it all off? Yep. Nope. Okay. So then, I take a shimmer. Or, yeah, I'm just going to use this one. And I always do this, and it makes a big difference, right? So right here, right there, in the corner of your tear duct, and then bring it under. Do a V shaped right there, okay? And look at, like, it is such a little tiny hack, and it makes a huge difference. It makes your eye look more awake and open, and just all of that. You see? If I look more awake, my eyes look bigger, they don't look so small. Okay. So, since I'm not like going anywhere, I'm just going to grab a lip gloss. This is the shade Lonesome by Unique. Like a baby pink. That. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. Easy peasy. Yeah, it's so weird. I don't know why, like... It's so weird when you wear black. I don't know why it does that. I think it's just like dark colors in general that does it for some reason, but it's very, very odd. Yeah, guys, if you have not checked out the video I did this morning, please watch it. Please. It's very informative. You guys need to hear it. And then do me a favor. Watch a, a documentary. It's called What the Health, okay? It's on Netflix. If you have Netflix, you can probably find it on YouTube also. Please, please watch it. Please watch it. And after you watch it, message me. Message me, and then I've got something to tell you, okay? So, yes, I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. Stay safe out there. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And everyone have a blessed evening. Bye.